Welcome everyone to Life on Resorts and a Happy New Year. It's the first one of 2023. Let's take a look at what's coming up this week. World Bowls is upon us and can you believe it's our 25th anniversary, 1998. The year the arena was officially opened and we'll take a nostalgic look back behind the scenes and look at some of the entertainment that we have provided over the many, many years that World Bowls has been hosted in the international arena. We'll be dropping in on rehearsals for the new variety show and we'll even take a look at Champions Hour. Yeah, guests v staff and we've never been beaten. That's all coming up on this week's edition of Life on Resorts. Now many of our guests know Potters as the home of World Bowls. And it's true to say that many of you have enjoyed bowls breaks for many, many years. Here, for instance, footage from 1992. And if you don't recognize where this room is, then maybe I can help by overlaying this next video taken over the Christmas period. Yep, the same camera angle, just separated by 31 years. How things have changed. February the 9th, 1998, and it was Bowls legend David Bryant doing the honours on the mic. Ian and myself would like to officially declare this Potter's International Bowls Arena open. Nineteen ninety eight, a huge investment into the international arena, which saw World Bowls come to Potters for the first time. And look there. Yes, you're not mistaken, that is a very young Rachel Beatty. The International Arena is used all year round for our guests to play bowls on, but when it comes to the World Bowls Championships, extra seating needs to be brought in, therefore the floor needs to be protected, and that's what you see happening right here. Hundreds of panels of wood being placed over the floor to protect it, because seating is obviously needed and placed on top of that floor and therefore a second bowls rink needs to be built in between the two seating areas as you can see there. It takes a lot of manpower and of course this goes unseen like so much of the World Bowls tournaments. However, we did get a bit of an insight a few years ago with Mr Richard Bear. Uh, you join me live here at uh, Potter's Resort uh, for this, the uh, 2016 World Indoor Bowls Championships here in the International Arena. And uh, as you can see, uh, we're live on the BBC very, very shortly. And we thought you would enjoy a uh, behind the scenes look into uh, how we make the program uh, for the BBC. Okay, well this is the outside broadcasting unit for the BBC. We're actually live on air now, and what we're going to do is we're going to go into the gallery and we're going to say hello to the people who are actually working on the programme as we speak, live. Good strike. Really good strike. Bang on target, that ball was ah, nice, not a toucher. So what do you do? We do the sound in here. Jack is just through the side, now come back charge onto the... Charge of the sound, making sure it all works. And and trying to collect the sound of the bowls and the crowd please. and your singing and everything. So yeah, so <laughs> what we do here. Fantastic. Sorry, Carl, it's like the, the inside of the International Space Station, <laughs> isn't it? This is great. Okay, thanks very much for that. We're now going to go okay, through... So into that's the control room. That's the control room. Ooh. Push it. Just push it. Oh, is it a push? It's another good one. Sends James Bowl potentially off the rink. Could be actually looking for a three or four himself. So you can wing the ball off and. Uh... Okay, so this is the brains of the operation. We've got again. the producer, the director, and all the really important people he's in this room. He's lifted the head very early. Must be inside. Yeah, he is. Always know from the boys' reaction. One shot, Jimmy Chesney. This is like the Starship Enterprise. 
just waiting for someone to say, beat me up, Scotty. So as you can see, it's a huge operation and uh, these are the bits that you don't get to see. Uh, so the behind the scenes look uh, from uh, the BBC production crew here. Uh, over uh, there we have Mark, he's our boom operator. You can get some terrific shots with this camera. Is it a jib or a boom? A jib. A jib, a jib, we yeah. call it a jib, a jimmy jib. And um, so you're going to be taking some of the live shots that everyone's going to be seeing on BBC yeah. Two today. Fantastic stuff. And uh, just show us what you can actually, can you just give us a little bit of a demo there and that, and how you can like, get some great shots and camera angles with this particular tool. That's fantastic. And uh, over here, the face of World Bowls, not only that, uh, the Olympics, uh, Channel 4 Racing, and uh, also uh, Wimbledon. We have uh, Rishi Passard here. Uh, Rishi, uh, how are you doing, mate? Lovely to see you. Yeah, and you. Uh, this is Cheers. for... Uh, what? Sorry, who are you? So, sorry? Who, who it's am Richard Bear, everyone. It's, it's, do you know me? Richard, I, Richard Bear of such famous hits as Sweet Caroline. Yes. Love on the Rocks. Yes. Whenever I speak oh, hang to on. him. Just, see, yeah. there's, there's nobody what? there. He does that. Every time yeah. I have a conversation, he just pretends it's someone that he's talking to. Yeah, no, somebody called Richard Bear. So, see, he's doing it again. There's nobody, there's nobody, there's nobody there. He's not even got his finger in the right ear. Yeah, today. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just like, yeah. Today. yeah. Whatever. I think it's his last day. Yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's, not my, it's not my last day. It's not. It's, it's not my. No, it's not my last day. Don't listen to it. I was hoping to catch DK. Who? DK. It's, are you Again, still doing? More people that I've never heard of. D, DK. Dave Kenyon is our floor manager. Likes a glass of wine. No, actually, that's an understatement. He likes a bottle bucket. of a bucket. That bloody bucket. I love a bucket. So we're live on BBC Two at one o'clock, and we want to uh, open up the program with a rapturous round of applause from all you lovely people here in the international. <laughs> Watch this, watch this. That is, no, that is poetry in motion. See, I haven't got the hands that you've got. I have the arms, look. What, when I do it, nothing, look. <laughs> nothing. Anyway, just a little bit up, just a little bit up. What a sport, I love this man, what a great guy. That's Dave Kenyon, by the way, our BBC floor manager. And uh, hello, Dave. How are you? Are you busy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I am. That is all to everybody. <laughs> My place is behind the camera, not in front of it, dear boy. <laughs> Use that bit. See, see what could end up on that? The best is going to come over the title. And of course, today's final is something of a local derby as well. It is Alan Faulkner up against Rebecca Field of Norwich. Let's not keep the players waiting any longer. Time to introduce them with our MC, Richard Bell. Thank you very much, Rishi. Well, going for her second title is the 2013 Ladies World Match Play Champion, ladies and gentlemen, Rebecca Field! A rare insight there behind the scenes of World Bowls and... Oh! <laughs> when the matches aren't on, of course, our guests still need entertaining and, well... A blast from the past here from 1992. Busby in the fat suits, Richard Knight, Mark Brewer, Andy Feet, Johnny Wade, they're all here entertaining. Let's take a look back on the comedy chaos.
forget we've had one or two streakers in our time and this year just like last year the Potter's Theatre Company will be on hand to create the atmosphere before the big event
Time now for a family break favourite. Oh yeah, and we have never been beaten. Can you mute this out? Because if you ever play us, the whole team is out. So hit the ball down. Okay. Look to see. So, New Year's resolutions? Where are you going, Johnny? I'm going to go gym now. Go to gym, dressed like that? Yes, mate. What's the bin bag for? The bin bag is so I know exactly what door to go in, Shane. The garbage door afterwards. And I'll come out because I've lost so much weight after. And I won't be like Peppa Pig. Put the arm up. What? How are you saying that? Well, that's what I am a superhero, aren't I? As well, what is about that? There's nothing wrong with that, is there? <laughs> <laughs> well, 
didn't it's a new look. Before. It's a new uniform, by the way, You've Shane. It's cheap. It's cheap. It's cheap. Ah, Johnny Laugh. Nice Christmas. I had a beautiful Christmas. Thank you very much. Where were you? I was at home with my lovely wife Sue and had two little doggies. Oh. Now, Lucy, surely you have a New Year's resolution. I try not to have New Year's resolutions, Nigel. I like to try and just be a better person all year round. Well, you must try harder. All right, Ollie, do you like that costume? I think that's lovely. I, I'm just not sure if that's big enough, though. <laughs> do you, what do you think? I mean, you know, I could get in here. That's like a sleeping bag. No, that's I think beautiful. It, no, it's I nice. I could doze off in this, or I could do just off. not <laughs> float across the floor. <laughs> <laughs> The wonderful Holly Day will be appearing in the midweek version of Variety, the brand new show. And, well, let's have a listen to rehearsals. The new variety show goes up in a matter of weeks on both resorts, and it's full of great music. Let's have a look at what's in it. Bring me sunshine, Bring me sunshine. in your smile. In your smile. Bring me laughter, all the while. All the while. In this world where we live, there should be more happiness, so much joy you can give. To be glad you break tomorrow, make me happy. Make me happy. Through the It's going to be a great show full of wonderful music and lots of laughs. If you've been watching this on YouTube, then why not consider subscribing? And if you're not watching on YouTube, why not? It's so much better on a big telly. Until next time, take care of yourselves. And we will see you very soon on the next Life on Resorts.